So in case you guys didn't know, uh, yeah, this car has 310,000 miles on it. Okay, so I've come to diagnose what's going on here. Um, basically got a lot of wobbles in the last hour of our trip and something's not good here, so I'm going to take it apart. Um, I'm kind of here in the hotel. Okay, so I've got this tightened and readjusted uh, to see if the adjustment was loose. And with it tightened up, it's still got mega amounts of slop. Plan of attack. Here's my snap photo. <laughs> so basically, I've ground away the groove on the inside, and I'm going to fill it in with JB Weld and basically uh, put the race in there and hold it as center as I can. Hope it'll dry that way, and then I'm gonna put the bearings on. Yeah, so that didn't make any sense of why this uh, failed. This will tell ya. <laughs> it should never drop into place like that. So, hopefully JB Weld will do the trick. And we have to make it two hours um, to Rampage, and we have somebody bringing us a hub. So, cheers to the people helping us. It's seriously amazing that the uh, drone community and car community can come together and help us with something like this, because otherwise we wouldn't make it home. I'm also gonna know that it's uh, really weird that all these people are like looking at me and talking about me as they walk by, and nobody has actually stopped and said a word to me or asked if I need help. Kind of crazy because once me and Kirsty were in Canada and our tire blew up, and like no joke, like not even 30 seconds, somebody pulled over and. All right, so basically this part is just about how Tyler and I are so awesome. Uh, just kidding. Uh, we're actually talking about how awesome Brain FPV is and that we have tons of swag uh, to hand out at Rampage for anybody um, because Brain is awesome. And that they also sponsored this kick-ass hotel of ours for us. So that was extremely helpful and nice of them. And uh, we just wanted to show everyone that their hats are the shit and they're the shit and you need to check them out and there's also a 15% off uh, coupon if you type in Miss Creature on their website that we're absolutely terrified of right now. And um, reason being because uh, we met somebody who chased after us basically. It was really 
lovely woman who said that she is a fellow Oregonian. Um, so she saw our plates and she just really needed to talk to us, and so she did. And uh, we got some info from her about this place, and she, she says if we're not into camping, which we might not be, um, because she almost stepped on a copperhead at our campsite we were just at, and the spiders are real bad here, apparently. Um, so now Tyler and I are just not even wanting to sit down in this nice shaded area that's pretty covered in spider webs. How pathetic. <laughs> but hey, it's different everywhere around the world and things are just very different here, so. Boy, Capper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chad, if I see one snake where we are, oh man. All right, so you know what we were just talking about and somehow we completely missed this sign. Yeah. All right, we're leaving. So, we're out here in Augusta, Georgia, I believe, here on the river at this park. Here's uh, he's getting some practice in for ether, crossfire, ABB motors. Pretty sweet little rig. To lean. I'm leaning. I'm leaning. So Barely. It's <laughs> a cool shirt. Who made that? I just wanted to record something really awkward with Chad. That's yeah. cool. Thank you for being Chad's awkward. a cool guy. This is yeah. an awkward He brought oh. all of this for us. <laughs> you want to record something awkward with Chad? Yeah. <laughs> Kirstie should be a rotor ride pilot. Oh! oh. 